Vehicle propulsion technology has seen substantial progress from its 19th century roots, evolving through internal combustion engines to today's favorite electric motors. Everywhere you go, people are talking about EVs. We've also, in recent years, gotten familiar with hydrogen-powered vehicles and received some hefty promises about the revolutionary solid-state battery technology. And to be frank, it's time to give other technologies some space in the discussion. Mazda made headlines recently when it introduced its bold ambitions to reimagine the rotary engine, a technology that dates back to its innovator Felix Wankel in the year 1919. Why is Mazda talking about the rotary engine first now over 100 years later? And can it really shake things up in the ever-growing EV industry, which Mazda so confidently believes in? Let's find out. The year is 1919 and the 17-year-old German Felix Wankel dreams of creating a better alternative to the dominating gasoline engine. Despite not having any formal training in engineering, Wankel is extremely confident in his belief and ability to reinvent the propulsion of cars. He wanted to simplify the complex stages of internal combustion, intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust, improving upon the familiar piston design. His invention was a novel engine design where a triangle-shaped rotor spins inside a curved chamber shaped like a peanut. The Japanese government shared Wankel's belief that this could revolutionize the automotive industry and contributed handsomely to the initial development of the engine. Wankel brought his idea one step further by bringing it to the German automaker NSU Motor & Work, which over the years collaborated to put his technology to life. After working hard over decades with a lot of trial and failure along the way, they reached a working prototype in 1959, 40 years later. This breakthrough caught the attention of leading car manufacturers at the time, with Mazda being one of them. Actually, Mazda even signed a contract with NSU to develop the technology into commercial production in order for Mazda to be more competitive in the automotive landscape. And just like that, Mazda brought cars such as the Mazda Cosmo, RX-7, and RX-8 to life. And with that, customers could experience high performance with smooth power delivery. Fast forward to 2023 and Mazda's iconic engine is making a comeback with a twist. The latest buzz is all about the Mazda MX-30 Rev, which rocks a fresh single rotor engine that's sleeker and smarter than ever before. Sure, it's not the dual rotor powerhouse we knew from the legendary RX-8, but hold on to your hats, because this new setup is about to turn heads. This new single rotor engine offers a balance of efficiency and performance, maintaining the spirited driving experience Mazda is known for. While it differs from the dual rotor engines of the past, this engine is a nod to future forward technology, aiming to deliver excitement and lower emissions. Mazda's most significant improvement is explained by direct fuel injection into the combustion chamber. This method allows for fuel to be sprayed directly into the chamber, enhancing the mixing of fuel and air, which results in more complete combustion. The benefits are twofold. It boosts the engine's efficiency and cuts down on emissions. This development is a considerable advancement for rotary engines, tackling the historically tricky issues of high fuel consumption and emissions that older rotary engines often encounter. The new engine also features an exhaust gas recirculation EGR system, a smart update that boosts efficiency, especially when the engine's under light strain or running at lower speeds. By rerouting a portion of the exhaust back into the engine's intake, the EGR system lessens the effort needed to keep the engine warm, enhancing fuel economy and reducing harmful greenhouse gas emissions. Additionally, this system plays a crucial role in cutting down on nitrogen oxide emissions which are a significant environmental concern with combustion engines. Mazda's new engine design is an evolution of the rotary engine, with several technical updates aimed at modernizing this classic powertrain. Swapping iron for aluminum in the side housings, Mazda's reduced the weight of the engine, enhancing efficiency and performance. A novel spray-on plasma ceramic coating further fortifies these housings against wear and friction, promoting durability and longevity. In a bid to improve engine resilience, Mazda's increased the width of the apex seals by 2.5 millimeters, translating to a 25% uptake in size over previous designs. This change directly impacts the engine's ability to withstand long-term use and maintain its performance. Despite these impressive technical upgrades, there's a notable change that might disappoint engine enthusiasts. The new rotary engine doesn't drive the Mazda MX-30 Rev directly. So then, what does it do? It turns out that it serves as a generator to extend the vehicle's range, 
indirectly powering the battery or an electric motor that then drives the wheels. This approach leverages the rotary engine's small size and smoothness, but departs from the conventional mechanical drive connection that's been a hallmark of Mazda sports cars. While the MX-30 Rev benefits from the unique characteristics of the rotary engine, the setup may disappoint those longing for a new iteration of Mazda sports cars directly powered by this technology. Now, focusing on Wankel's concept, the Mazda rotary engine is distinct from piston engines, utilizing a triangular rotor that orchestrates the intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust cycles in one smooth motion. As the rotor turns within the housing, it successfully draws in the air-fuel mixture, compresses it for ignition, and then uses the expanding gases to produce power, before expelling the exhaust, all in less time than traditional engines take to complete similar cycles. The Wankel engine is celebrated for its simplicity, having far fewer moving parts, just the rotor and the eccentric shaft in a single rotor configuration. This simplicity not only makes for a lighter, more compact engine, but also historically reduces maintenance needs and provides a high-performance capability that's been a darling of driving enthusiasts. The technology's appeal was so strong that Mazda persisted with the rotary engine when other automakers abandoned it. The company's engineers continued to refine the rotary engine, even as they faced increasing environmental regulations that challenged the engine's viability, leading to the end of the RX-8's production in 2012. Yet Mazda didn't cease its rotary development, Instead, it adapted the technology to the electric age with the MX-30 Rev. And there's further speculation with leaked patents suggesting a new tri-rotor hybrid engine in development, potentially for a model like the RX-9. This perspective model could merge the high-performance, smooth-running rotary engine with an electric motor, offering a hybrid solution that directly drives the wheels, a sign of hope for rotary enthusiasts. While the current use of Mazda's rotary engine as a range extender may not fulfill all enthusiast desires for a pure rotary-powered drive, it represents a strategic pivot to align with sustainable automotive trends. The Wankel rotary engine's principle of operation remains as innovative and unique as ever, with Mazda's dedication to the technology signaling an unwillingness to let go of the rotary engine's potential in a future that's increasingly electric.